Hello, I am Liz. I'm the DBS Administrator for Oxfordshire Youth and I would like to just talk a bit about the DBS Update Service. When you get your application form, inside it is this piece of paper. Now, I would imagine that most people are so delighted to have finished filling in the main form that they toss this piece of paper to one side and don't give it another thought. But I am here to tell you that it's worth having a look at it because this tells you about how to register for the update service which could prevent you from having to fill in any more of these forms in the future. So the idea is that it allows you to keep your DBS certificate up to date, it prevents you from having to fill in any more forms and it's much quicker and easier for both you and your employer to fill in in the future. So you only need to register for the update service once and then if you need any subsequent DBS checks which are at the same level, for example if you've already got an enhanced check, if you need another enhanced check um, then you don't need to fill in a whole new form. You can simply give permission for somebody to log onto your site and check what your status is at the moment. I'm hoping this makes sense. So it costs uh, £13 a year if you are in a paid job, but it's free for volunteers, so it's really worthwhile doing for volunteers. Um, if you already have a standard or an enhanced DBS certificate, you can use your um, certificate number to register online. Another way of doing it is when you're actually in the process of filling out this form, you'll see that there's a unique number in the corner and you can use that to register online before you've even got your certificate for the update service. For employers, it's a really great thing because uh, it's constantly updated. So whereas your DBS certificate, the paper certificate, is a snapshot in time, uh, which tells you what your criminal record is or isn't on that particular date. This continues to be updated all the time, week on week. So if you go to a new employer, say halfway through the year, and you need a new DBS, if it's at the same level, uh, you can be sure that it will be an up-to-date one, and that's really good news for employers as well. So, next time you do one of these forms, don't ignore the piece of paper inside, grit your teeth, write the number down from your form and get on with applying for it.